Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this uh, today's session, now we are going to describe about logical, logic-based testing and path expressions. In the past video, I have described regarding regarding the troublesome program. How the troublesome program can be explained with the help of some conditions and actions. How the actions can get generated by the respective conditions are met. So we have seen this in our past video. Now I am going to describe about logic based testing and path expressions. Logic based testing is normally called as a structural testing and also a functional testing. So what is the meaning of the functional testing? To test the some uh, logic inside in it, the functionalities, how the system is going to work, the set of the functionalities we are going to test. Okay, logic based testing is one kind of the structural testing, it, internal structures we are going to test here when it's applied to the structure. So what are the internal structures of the program? Normally, the internal structures of the program we can represent with the help of some loops and the conditions, conditional statements and all these things, right? So example, control flow graph of an implementation. The control flow graph normally what it describes, let us see one example of this control flow graph. This is one example of this control flow graph. What it describes normally, see, in this control flow graph, we are having set of nodes and collection of the nodes within it and set of the actions to be generated. So we can say the control flow graph of the particular program this is. Okay, so this is the control flow graph. So um, what are the conditions met? What are the actions to be generated? Everything can be descri described in the logic based testing. Okay, so we can call it as also a functional testing when it is applied to a specification. To describe any kind of the specification, this directly convert into the form of the logic based testing will be convert into the form of the functional testing. Now, in logic based testing, normally, what are the things we see normally? See, here we see normally the control flow predicates. What is a predicate actually? The predicate is one kind of the function which gives the false value or true value, only one Boolean value it gives. So it is implemented as a process whose outcome is a truth functional value. What are the truth functional values? Either true or false, either yes or no, either 0 or 1. Like that, the truth functional values can be differentiated. Okay, so whenever the outcome of the predicate, whenever the outcome of any kind of the function that it executes and gives the Boolean values like either true or false, either S or no or either 0 or 1, we can say such a function as the predicate, remember. We can say such a function as the predicate. So this logic based testing directly gives the logic values only that are either true or false, either S or no, either 0 or 1. So that's why we can restricted we can limited this particular testing on only the binary predicates what are binary predicates they can give either only one value it may be either true value or false value either zero value or one value okay so logic based testing can have some set of the path expressions and these path expressions can be represented either zero or one either s or no either true or false like that uh, we can implement this in multiple ways in multiple number of the purposes right so this is nothing but logic based testing and path expressions okay in the coming video we describe we describe about the boolean algebra what are the various conditions rules and regulations are there in the boolean algebra we are going to see in our coming video thank you one and all if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you